Welcome back to another video on my channel. In today's video, we're going to be, I'm going to be introducing you to a thing that I'm going to be doing for the next, until, from, from today until, from today until Friday. Sorry, today, for today until, yeah, for today until Friday. Currently, you can, as you can see, I'm in a room. Not my usual room, not my actual room, just a room. I am currently at Student Flats in Edinburgh. I'm in Edinburgh, the capital city of Scotland, for the the festival, the music and arts festival, the Edinburgh Fringe. And we have, it's late in the evening on the first day of the, that we've been here. That me and my mum and my dad have been here at the fringe. I've today, so today, tomorrow, to, sorry, today, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and th Thursday and Friday, I will be doing. And so yeah, for t today, t Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, I will be doing Edinburgh Fringe reviews. So basically, each at the end of each day, while I'm here at the Fringe, I will be giving you my review of that day. So today, I'll give you a review. I'll give, right now, we're going to give you a review of what happens today. Then Monday for Monday, Tuesday for Tuesday, then Monday, review for Monday, Tuesday, review for Tuesday, Wednesday, review for Wednesday, Thursday, review for Thursday, Friday, review for Friday. So I'll do a review, daily reviews for every day I am here in Edinburgh from now till Friday, not including Sunday. Because Sunday, I have no, I'm going to no shows. So today, I only went to one show. It was a show called... Yuck sucks. I'm not going to tell you what it's about because I don't really want to talk about what it's about because it don't really the topic what it's about. I don't really want to talk about it. So it's just it was a mixture of it was just multiple acts, some circus acts and some generally you know yuck acts. Hence the name yuck circus. Um, as first shows go for the Fringe this year, not bad. Better than the, the sh my first show at this year's Fringe was definitely, the show that I watched, my first show at this year's Fringe was definitely better than the first show at last year's Fringe. My first show at last year's Fringe was definitely not as good as my first show this year, in this year's Fringe. So it was fun. There were loads of great scenes they ended the performance ended with a dance routine to abba to abba's gimme gimme a man after midnight there was a hula hoop act there was also a skipping rope act they did a lot of the people the show people did a lot of flips tricks Splits and all that sort of stuff. And overall, it was a fun time. It was funny. It was the performance. The performers were funny, entertaining, and just generally an overall time. The venue for the sh for the show was absolutely amazing. So yeah, I really enjoyed it. My first sh show at this year's Fringe. Um, other than that show, after that show, I um had some. I had after that show, I had. A little sn snack. After that show, I had a little snack. Then, me and my mum, my dad, and a couple of other people who are on this trip, I'm not going to name, 
went to a diff went to a show that I wasn't attending. So I got to while they were in the show, I got to roam Edinburgh all by myself. And I was planning on going to have something at Costa, but I noticed that Costa was closing at six. So I decided. So I decided to use the ten pounds that Mum gave me to buy four, three packets of four, three packets of cheese strings containing four in each. So that was so twelve cheese strings, four in one packet, three packets, four in each, and I also had two packs of rainbow. Um, I also had two packs of Coca Cola straws. So that was fun. Also, then after that, me, my mum, and after that, after my mum and dad, after my mum and dad came out of the show, and I met back up with them, we went through to a place in Edinburgh, during the, in the Fringe, called Pleasant's uh, Courtyard, and I had some uh, noodles, some very tasty noodles. And after that, we came back here to the flat, and I've been here since then. So yeah, that's a review of this day. I hope for the hopefully this the trip, the rest of the trip matches how good this day lives up to the lives up to to what I've to my day to to my hopefully the rest of the trip lives up to what this day put together. Oh, also, while well, my mum and dad. While I was not in the show that my mum and dad went. And while I mentioned to you about a show that after Yuck Circus. That my mum, my dad and a couple of other people who were on this trip. Went to a show that I didn't go to. Because I could choose what shows I went to. While they were out. Not only did I get 12 cheese strings and 2 packets of Coca-Cola straws. I also... Watch this amazing perform street performer. He you perform some very daring cool tricks. He used machetes. He had three machetes, three treasure chests, a table, a skateboard, and a skateboard. He did loads of stuff. And, and he finished the his performance with by spinning a giant big treasure chest or chest in on his finger on his literally just on one finger so that was impressive but yeah today my first day back at the fringe pretty good hopefully the rest hopefully my the next few days continue to be hopefully the next few days continue to deliver but that's it for this review of Day one or the Edinburgh Fringe twenty for twenty twenty three. Tomorrow I will be doing tomorrow no video on my channel, and then back when we come back Monday, I will be doing my review for Monday. Then I'll do my review for Tuesday. Then I'll do my review for Wednesday. Then I'll do my review for Thursday, and then I'll do my review for Friday. They will all be on my YouTube channel, but also just to remind you. Wednesday, Wednesday, I will be filming a video that will be released on Thursday. And I mentioned it in my last video when I did my Game Week 1 Premier League predictions for the 2022-2020, for the 2023-2024 season. I am doing my predictions for Game Week, I'm filming my predictions for Game Week 2 of the 2023-2024 Premier League season on Wednesday and then it will I'm releasing it on Thursday. So watch out for that video, that predictions video on Thursday and watch out for the reviews, the rest of the Edinburgh Fringe reviews for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. But until those reviews and my Game Week 2 predictions for the Premier League 2023 2024 season, this has been Gibby O'Brien. Subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell. Subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell to catch up with all my latest videos. But until... The next review, this has been Joe O'Brien and I am out. Peace.